So, it's three degrees out here, and I'm standing in front of Colorado's steepest road, or at least one of Colorado's steepest roads. And I've got the brand new 2010 Range Rover Sport HSE. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get in the car, we're gonna put it in hill descent mode, we're gonna see how this car does going down this very steep and icy road. Let's check it out. Here we are on Lick Skillet Road, which is one of Colorado's steepest roads. And to make this especially fun, it's also icy and three degrees out there. So I'm gonna put the car in drive. I'm gonna select the snow mode down here. And I'm gonna click on hill descent mode. HDC on, ready to go, here we go. Let's see how this guy does. driving itself. I'm just steering, making sure to avoid any trees or any other obstacles. And we're doing about, uh, I'd say about three miles an hour. So we tried going down the hill, no problem until I put on the brakes. That's when the back end just slid out. So let's try going up a snow covered hill now. In front of me is a pretty steep Colorado road covered in snow. I'm gonna put this car in snow mode. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. Using the suspension, put it in drive, and let's try going up the hill. So far, so good. Pretty tricky here. Look at this, the car's just climbing. I bet you were in a good 14% incline. No problem. If you happen to have $70,000 and you live in the mountains, I can certainly recommend the Range Rover Sport. We've seen what happens when the car goes down the hill. We've seen what happens when it goes up the hill. The traction control is incredible. The car just handles like a dream. So let's try one more test. Let's see what happens when we turn the traction control off and add some snow. With the traction control disabled, the Range Rover Sport is of course as graceful as a two and a half ton ballerina. This is Roman Micah reporting for TFLcar.com.